Hey guys, so this picture isn't really anything all that special. Um, I just really wanted to use watercolors because I haven't in forever. And yeah, so I was pretty much just browsing DeviantArt for stock photos of poses and stuff and I was thinking, oh, maybe I could do fan art or fan pro and I ended up settling on an adoptable design that I purchased uh, not too long ago from a friend of mine because it's really cute and I don't think I did it justice at all and uh, I'm not really all that happy with this drawing. I'm kind of like in a funk right now and it's, I don't know, it was, it was really a struggle with this piece and yeah it's probably quite visible. I don't know. Just for me, looking at it in terms of quality, it's just not really up there where I would like it to be. But, I mean, not every drawing is going to be the greatest drawing in the world. And yeah, so just gotta remember that. <laughs> but anyway, so I named this character Celesta because that was just the name that came to mind when I looked at the design. And yeah, there's not really any backstory for her or anything. Uh, I usually do that with character designs of mine, like ones that I draw. Like if I make up characters that I intend to be in books, I have like so much backstory and information made about them, and but I have no idea what they look like, and I have no idea what clothes they wear, and I have no idea like anything. <laughs> And um, so it's kind of funny, it's like the opposite of drawing OCs, it was where like, I know what they look like, but there's just no information about them, so um, yeah, but I mean, I'm fine with that, I've, I've kind of always done that, it's always been like that, but I don't mind if y'all want to comment and just make up stuff and I don't know, maybe I'll hear something that I like and I'll go with that. I'm really open in terms of uh, story in regards to my drawing OCs. So like I said, watercolor for most of this, I guess is most of it. Um, it was, I, I almost want to say a struggle, but it's not really a struggle, but it was, it's just different. And it's something that I'm not used to because I haven't done it in for so long. And I don't know, it's just, I feel like I, I don't know, I'm like, I've tried different techniques and adding like more or less water, mixing different colors. I actually have so much color mixed on these palettes that I have that come with the, like, the watercolors come in like this case and I put the colors like all over the case and I was mixing colors for all these past paintings I did. So there's a ton of extra color. So I didn't want to squirt out any new color. Um, I actually had to for the shirt because I didn't have any um, reds though the shirt looks pink, <laughs> but whatever. Um, anyway, so I tried to use up a lot of it. There's a lot of blue, a lot of green, a lot of brown. I used a bit of brown for the background. Uh, there's still a ton left, so I'm going to have to think of a painting in watercolor that has blue, green, and brown. Maybe a forest scene or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So I didn't get the look that I wanted to with just the watercolor. And I just, I don't know. Again, this piece was a huge struggle for me. I didn't want to work on it, but at the same time, I really wanted it done. So that was really annoying. But so I went back and I went in with Copics to try and fix what I could. Um, I, I don't really mind the look, the mix between watercolor and Copics. I think they match them, each other really well and they like suit each other really well. It was kind of when I went in with colored pencils later, and it'll it'll come up. You'll see that um, it just it has a different texture to it because it's watercolor paper. So the colored pencil, there's like a lot of gaps where like the paper, um, what's the word, concaves. It's one of those. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, there's just a lot of things about this picture that I didn't really get what I wanted to get. Like the overalls, 
are not the, the texture in the blue that I wanted. The shirt is pink for some reason because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's supposed to be red. Uh, I, I kind of like her hair though. That's probably the only part I like. And then I screwed up the eyes. Nose is okay. Mouth is whatever. I don't know. Just this piece is really frustrating. And yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I'm happy I'm done with it. And I sound so depressing. I'm sorry. I'm not in the greatest of moods right now. This commentary is gonna be awful. I apologize. <laughs> anyway, um, so I mean, I'm like, I'm happy I'm done. I really want to try and experiment and like mix other colors into other colors. I keep saying I want to do that and then I never really do it. Like, I've been doing it a little bit with yellow and I don't know if you've noticed that like in a- I did it in a previous drawing, I don't remember what it was. But it was just yellow highlights, I'm talking about just in general like maybe purples in the red shirt or I don't know, just kind of mixing things up, not just like blue, then darker blue, then darker blue kind of thing. But yeah, so hopefully I'll try and do that more often and yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.